Welcome to Total Technic. Today we're working on the Audi Q7. In this video we're going to show you how to remove your centre wiper arm. And in this video we are only going to be showing you the centre one because that's the only one we need to remove today. The principle is the same if you need to remove the other arm but space is a lot more limited. That outer arm is a real pain. So as I mentioned this is the one we're going to be removing today. Let's get it done. It's always a good idea uh, before you do any work on wiper arms just to grab some of uh, this is just normal decorator's tape. I'm just going to mark that up. Uh, just on the windscreen, level with the uh, top edge of my wiper blade. And I'm going to do the uh, same on the other one here, just so I know where the default position is. So when I come to put them back on, I can get them aligned uh, with this mark on the windscreen. So for the removal of the wiper arm here, uh, we've got these two uh, plastic caps, and we need to go ahead and get those removed. So grab a small flathead screwdriver. Just help us out, get some, put some uh, penetration spray around these. I'm using plus gas, but liquid wrench, WD-40, uh, anything like that, just to soak in and uh, aid the uh, process of getting these caps removed. So next we need to slacken off these nuts. We're not going to remove them completely at this stage, but we need to uh, slacken them off by a few turns. Uh, size 16. Remember, we're not trying to remove that nut at this stage, just trying to create a bit of space uh, underneath it. So now do exactly the same to the other one. So I've got a little bit, a bit of penetration spray uh, just down the middle and around the edge, just to soak that down inside. Just a little bit more uh, of a chance of getting that off. I use, this is a uh, plus gas. You can use a uh, liquid wrench, WD-40, anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to need a wiper arm puller. You can get these on uh, Amazon. Uh, they're only about $12. They are cheap and cheerful. Uh, we'll add some links for these uh, in the video description below. So if you need to pick up one of those, uh, please be sure to use our links. And the way that these work is they've got a, a spindle here that comes out, as you can see, down the center and uh, retracts. And then you've got these, uh, these two arms, which are kind of spring-loaded. And this section here uh, turns independently of this. And what you can do is you can use this. As I turn that, you'll see that the, uh, the gap here gets narrower. It gets wider. So essentially, you put it around the arm, close it around the arm, and then you use this. It'll come down on, on top of the nut, and that should uh, pop the uh, arm off. So first thing I'm going to do is just the, uh, the silver part, just so we get that tucked underneath, get a good grip on the arm. Now because the hole in the uh, top of my nut there is uh, very similar to the, uh, the end of the tool there, I'm just going to put a coin in the uh, gap so we've got a solid uh, base to uh, push against rather than just pushing against the kind of center of that nut. Then just start to apply the uh, pressure. There you can see, that's now free. So now we're going to do exactly the same process on the second one. 
Now, so always remember, it's the silver bit first. And get that nice and tight pinching either side of the arm. Actually, I think this one's already off. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so I didn't have to do anything on that one. This one was uh, already off. Uh, but obviously what I would have done, so I just used the tool and done exactly the same as we did before. So just making sure that you get that. Uh, so do the silver part first, so you make sure you get that clamped in nice and tight in there. And then just start applying pressure, applying pressure, applying pressure, nice and slowly until it pops. Now we can go, we can go ahead and can get rid of these, uh, these two nuts. And just carefully lift up these uh, arms. remove this wiper. Getting this uh, wiper arm off can be really really tricky. The reason it's so tricky is because you, you just don't have any space. You've got your uh, bonnet here, your hood, and you, you've got such a small amount of space in there. And of course Audi do make a, a special tool which is a tiny tiny little uh, wiper arm uh, puller uh, that can work within kind of this uh, kind of inch of space that we've got just in here. And we have seen a couple of sets uh, available on Amazon actually uh, for about $50 that include that little tiny minute puller. And so we will add links to that set uh, on Amazon uh, into the uh, video description below, so check that out if you need to. Now one very important note with regards to this uh, plenum chamber cover, uh, I thought this little slot in the side here uh, was factory, but now we've uh, got it off and had a proper look at it. And of course thinking back, uh, it's not factory, they don't normally have this little slot cut into them. So I just double check this on the Audi workshop manual to confirm and no they don't, this slot has been added by someone uh, during a previous job. However what someone's uh, done here previously is kind of a practical hack to kind of uh, get around it because uh, just because that white brown is so difficult to remove. And so as a kind of a, a practical workaround that's probably quite a sensible way of doing it. So that's something you may want to look at yourself, uh, if you don't then you are going to have to get one of those tiny tiny little pullers uh, to go on this one arm. And that's how you remove this wiper arm. This video has been helpful for you. We always ask you to take one second out of your busy schedule. Please be sure to hit that like button for us before you leave us here on YouTube. Likewise, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website. We've got hundreds more Audi videos just waiting for you to take a look at. We appreciate it. See you again.